In 49 states across the U.S., 18, 19, and 20-year-olds are allowed to operate large commercial vehicles in intrastate commerce. However, under federal law, those same commercial drivers are prohibited from participating in interstate commerce. That means a 20-year-old trucker can run her rig hundreds of miles across one state, but she can't take that same load only a few miles into a neighboring state for delivery. It also means she can't pick up an inbound load shipped by air and drive it a few miles to a local distribution center since that freight originated from out of state. This makes no sense, and it's having a negative impact on our nation's supply chain and the job prospects for millions of Americans. Interstate commerce is the core of America's economic engine. Truckload drivers running national irregular routes earn an average salary of $58,000 plus benefits without the requirement of a costly four-year college degree. And within a few years, that earning potential soars. It's not uncommon for an experienced driver working for a private fleet to earn more than $80,000 annually with full benefits. But since federal law bars high school graduates from participating in interstate trucking, where the greater demand and pay are, these job seekers are deterred away from careers in trucking, drawn instead to other fields like construction and food service. Since trucking cannot be a career of first choice, the industry is forced to rely heavily on those looking to make a career change later in life. As a result, the average age of a new driver being trained today is 35 years old. This reality is exacerbating a national truck driver shortage across the country. Projections show the industry will be short 100,000 drivers in just a few years and short 160,000 drivers by 2028. At the same time, America's freight volumes are expected to increase by 36% over the next decade. Left unchecked, these troubling trends will put our national supply chain under enormous strain, resulting in higher prices for consumers, longer delivery times, and more items out of stock. A bipartisan bill before Congress, the Drive Safe Act, would solve this issue by bringing federal regulations in line with the states and enable 18, 19, and 20-year-olds to cross state lines. But most importantly, the Drive Safe Act would dramatically enhance highway safety across the country by raising safety training standards far above where they stand today for new under-21 drivers. In 49 states today, 18 to 20 year olds can legally drive large commercial vehicles once they obtain a commercial driver's license, or CDL, requiring the successful completion of a written knowledge test and a driving skills test. Under the Drive Safe Act, obtaining a CDL would only be the first step in the process. Applicants would then be required to undergo 400 hours of intensive training while being evaluated against specific performance benchmarks and using only trucks equipped with the latest safety technology before they are approved to cross state lines. If we can train our high school graduates to fight our wars overseas, we can certainly train them to cross state lines in a Class 8 truck. The Drive Safe Act has growing bipartisan support in Congress, earning the endorsement of legislators from both ends of the political spectrum. And the U.S. Department of Transportation recently proposed a pilot program modeled off the bill. In many ways, it's becoming the defining socioeconomic issue of our time. Fewer and fewer working class Americans are finding their shot at the American dream. But trucking is one industry that can't be offshored. And by identifying those responsible, safe, and professional drivers who seek to begin their careers in trucking, we can repave that road to the middle class for millions of Americans, while boosting highway safety across the country and ensuring the U.S. remains the greatest economy in the world.